Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're in Vegas at CES 2013 and I'm driving a spider, the Mondo Spider. Now this thing looks like it's got a mind of its own, but on the inside, there's a couple vehicles that actually do. We're here to check them out. All right, so we're here with Jim, corporate manager here at Lexus. Thanks so much for being with us. Pleasure, thank you. So behind us is an LS600 autonomous vehicle. Tell me a little bit about the technology that's gone into this and why you guys decided to go this route. Well, autonomous technology is, is we're introducing it globally for the first time here at the 2013 CES. The vehicle behind us has three core technologies, recognition technology, and that's all those beautiful sensors you see on the roof. Judgment technology takes whatever the car sees and it has to make a judgment similar to what a human would do. And then there's the operational technologies. The operational technologies are our sophisticated drive-by-wire, throttle-by-wire, steer-by-wire, brake-by-wire systems that take the, the data the car sees, processes it, and then it makes it change the lanes or speed up or slow down. And philosophically, Lexus believes that autonomous is not driverless. So okay, we're, we, okay. have a car, we have a, a driver behind the wheel. But that driver can lift his hands off the wheel, feet, feet off the pedal, and that car will drive itself. You guys have a couple really cool testing facilities, uh, one in the States and one in Japan. Tell me a little bit about those. This car was created and tested in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The other end of the autonomous program in Japan, there we have an 8.6 acre proving ground that developed for intelligent transportation, an urban test environment recreated. And it's all based upon you know, the future of machine-to-machine -machine communication, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, vehicle-to-infrastructure communication. All right, so we're here with Anupam, responsible for connected driving technologies at Audi. Thanks so much for being with us. Great to be here, man. You guys are taking a bit of a different approach, at least in the verbiage of connected driving. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing. Yeah, so Audi's coined the term piloted driving. It's a much better way of looking at how we think these different technologies that are uh, sort of converging in the automotive and connected driving space uh, will bring value to the customer. Driving today has situations where driving is not a pleasant task. And a couple of examples of that could be if you're stuck in a traffic jam uh, or stop and go traffic in a city. It takes away from the enjoyment you would otherwise have with your vehicle. And you add stress that you don't really need. And it could actually uh, affect you in terms of any business that you're trying to conduct or any family time that you're trying to have. You also have issues where certain things that you have to do around the fact that you have a vehicle that you're using as a transport mode can affect what you can actually do. So for instance, when you go for a, a meeting or shopping, you have to find parking. Yeah. And what Audi is doing is taking a look at this space and saying there's a lot of different driver assist systems that we have been building into these cars. Sure. And the sole purpose of these driver assist systems has been to allow the vehicle to take over some of these more uncomfortable or unenjoyable aspects of driving okay. when you don't need to. So I drop off the vehicle and what happens there is a sensor that we've added into the vehicle that give, provides lateral definition and sensing of what's going on around the vehicle. Okay. And by the addition of that, plus a infrastructure location system that needs to be present in the parking facility. Okay, so the garage itself needs to have sensors to be able to communicate Exactly, and with what the these car. do is they actually provide a very precise measure of location and, and feed that to the vehicle. Now that the vehicle knows the location needs to get to, it then calculates knowing that there's a map of the parking Sure, a, a gr virtual grid, really, exactly. that knows yeah. measurements, I gotta get it, in it here. It creates its own path, it navigates the path, and it parks itself, shuts down, and then sends you a message saying, I'm parked. I'm parked. So we're here with Tim Stevens, Editor-in-Chief at Engadget. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Bradley. Um, so you guys are obviously synonymous with the tech world and especially CES. You've been here a number of years. What's 2013 look like? 2013 is an interesting year. We're seeing a lot of big companies kind of pull out and do their own things. So following the Apple lead of launching their own events and having their own guest lists and their own venues and doing everything in-house. 
Huh. So that's left a lot of floor space for smaller companies to come in, which is good. So we see a lot of Kickstarters and Indiegogos and that kind of thing. There's also more room for automotive stuff, which is, of course, very good for us, too. What do you think about this whole autonomous vehicle situation? It's a very interesting situation because there are a lot of people like me who are ready for autonomous cars. You know, I, I don't want a car that always drives itself, but I wouldn't mind being able to hit a button from time to time. Autopilot? You just want to kind of sit back? Wouldn't and... be so bad. But the early adopters now have to play nice with the people who don't want that. So, uh -huh. you know, I have to share a road with somebody who definitely doesn't want an autonomous car on the road with them. And there are a lot of people who aren't ready for that yet. So it's a difficult situation for these companies to be in. They've got the technology. They could really do it, but the legality isn't there and the people really aren't ready yet, I don't think. So what we need is legislation and a lot of progress in terms of the mindset of people to let them know that, you know, autonomous cars are safe or they can be safe and, you know, potentially even safer than human drivers. All right, that's it for our time at CES. And look, maybe these autonomous vehicles aren't gonna be pulling up into your driveway anytime soon. But the research going into them is something that's finding its way into active safety features in cars today. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.